today is graduation day not for me but for the class above me today is the first day Jalen and i and all our classmates get to wear our red sashes because we're officially seniors at west point after breakfast we walked up to the football stadiums with our companies and watched graduation this is actually the first graduation i've seen in real life i didn't go to graduation my freshman year because i was in staff and last year was my older sister's graduation but it was streamed virtually because of covid <laughs> June A. Copeland. I'm happy to be here in person this year. I am getting goosebumps just watching and thinking about when it's my turn next year. After graduation, you get to go around and watch all your favorite seniors commission. I started the vlog out with graduation day because summer training literally starts now. It starts during graduation week, right after we finished our exams. Tomorrow I have to catch a flight from West Point to Fort Hood to begin CTLT. I'm at Fort Hood right now for CTLT. CTLT stands for Cadet Troop Leading Training. It's about three weeks long. I was initially supposed to be shadowing an AG platoon leader, but there was some sort of mix up and I'm going to be shadowing an ADA platoon leader while I'm here. West Point allowed us to put in preferences and decide where we wanted to go for CTLT. I put Fort Hood as my number one preference because I was born here on base and <laughs> that's literally the only reason. I don't have any memory of ever being here because my mom got orders to Fort Benning when I was two years old. So I just wanted to come back here to make memories in the place I was born. I'm getting ready for my first day of work right now. This is my first time putting on the uniform as a firstie. You can see the three bars on my chest, and that is the rank for firsties at West Point. I can't believe I've really made it here, guys. I am a firstie at West Point, and you guys are here with me along for the ride. Y'all, they have tents and cots out here. Tents and cots. This really made my whole entire day. I have never been on an FTX on a cot before. I'm the only girl about to be sleeping in this tent. ADA has a lot of men in it. Like, they say West Point is very diverse, and I never understood that. But now, being out in a real army, especially a combat arms unit, is making me miss the diversity of West Point. My favorite part about CTLT was that we got the afternoons to ourselves and the weekends completely to ourselves. One weekend, I took a solo trip out to Chalk Ridge Falls in Belton. It was so, so pretty there. Another weekend, I went on a date to Austin. And we went to the Oasis, which I really, really wanted to go to. And we went to the Austin Aquarium, and there were so many animal encounters there. Definitely the highlight of my CTLT. Can you just turn around and I don't want the main one to get in. Or stop. 
stop. What? What is that? He just stopped again. Yeah, this is mine. You're so silly. How old are they? He's about seven months and she's about nine months. That's all the CTLT footage I have. I am now about to catch a flight and go back to West Point for STAP. Stap has always been so fun for me. I didn't vlog a lot, but I did take some short form clips that I'm putting in right now. The regulations just changed, allowing girls to put our hair in ponytails. So you already know, as soon as I got back from CTLT, I put passion twists in my hair so I could have the cutest, fullest ponytail. Stap is really the calm before the storm. Cause up next, we have the infamous CLDT. I have heard so many horror stories about CLDT. I did not think I was going to get slotted for this training, but they're making me go. And if I have to go to CLDT, you'll have to come with me. I had five days off between STAP and CLDT, so I flew home to Fort Belvoir and spent time with my mom and friends. That highlight of going home was going to this rage room. This is our first time doing a rage room and it was really, really fun. I need a mop of I dance on that demon time, she might start her only fans. Big B and that B stand for bands. If you want to see some real. I'm at Camp Buckner right now. I can't believe y'all are actually here with me this year. As cadets, we gotta come here every summer for field training. This will hopefully be my last summer here. CLDT stands for Cadet Leadership Developmental Training. Like I said, it's very infamous. Mostly because there's a 10-day FTX on the back end. We've never stayed out in the field for 10 days straight. I heard it used to be 14 days though, so count your blessings. Good morning guys, it's CLDT day 4, it's 6.23 in the morning and you and I are walking to breakfast right now. The first few days of CLDT have been quite exhausting. Day 1, we all had to form up in the gym with our gear for accountability. I got to see my friends who were slotted in this detail with me. Hey, no, yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> 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 We waited on transport for five hours in that gym and then carried all our gear to the bays, which don't worry, after breakfast, I'm going to give you guys a complete tour inside the bays. According to my CODT Snapchat diaries, I was issued a no wrecking, no running profile on that first day. And this is the profile. <clears throat> it says post-surgical right foot pain, no ruck, no run, no jump, no impact until cleared by orthopedics in four days. May wear soft shoes take meds as directed, follow up as needed. I have a doctor's appointment in four days and hopefully they'll be able to do something or give me something that can help me get through this training because it is a graduation requirement. The next day, we woke up at 5 a.m. for combatives. I had empanadas for breakfast. We sat through a five-hour brief. <laughs> and the highlight of the day was finishing season 36 of The Challenge, my favorite show. The day after that, I had a 4 a.m. CP shift. It was so dark. We could not see a thing on shift. We had a bunch of battle drill classes and lay nap classes. We practiced loading into the Blackhawks and the Chinooks because no we're going to have to do that for tomorrow. <laughs> and I wrote that I'm sad but doing very well to appear happy. The highlight of my day was my sister delivering me some clean ACUs and McDonald's to boost morale. <laughs> so that's how things have been going so far. Today is day four, and like I said, I'm walking to breakfast right now. And after breakfast, I'm going to give you guys a tour of the bays. <laughs> Oh, 
Like By the time he gets back, he's But then he's just rolling. I was like, I don't know. That's true. I hope they go through it like. Yeah. Like, talk about it. Not, yeah, y'all get it. Once we start the FTS, there's no tree. It's like one example. Okay, wait. Mango? Yes. It's so good. I love mango. Okay, breakfast is over. I had breakfast with the girls. I know of a lot of people in my platoon and all the girls seem nice. I'm on my way back up to the bays. I'm about to give you guys a tour of the bays. It is a mess. They actually have me staying in the boys bay with a little tarp trash can thing up in the it's a mess i am in first platoon though so i'm gonna be showing you guys the first platoon bay in carnage company this is inside the bays 10 girls in here 10 girls in first platoon me and another girl are staying back here where the boys are with this tarp and trash bag taped up here to separate us. I'm down here at the bottom bunk and Maddie's up there. I'm about to show you the bathroom real quick and then we gotta pack for the field. This is the bathroom. It's very gross in here. There are lots of roaches and bugs in here. I use the bathroom so quick and take a shower so fast, like lightning speed, because you just never know what is crawling around. I'm packing right now for an FTX we have tonight. FTX stands for field training exercise. This is just a mini one night FTX, not the 10 day graded one we have to do later. After I finish packing, the other girl in my squad. I love her y'all. She literally never leaves me, never leaves me behind. She is such a good battle. Her and I are gonna walk down to the rest of the company and then we're all gonna walk over to the combatives pit, which is by the LZ. The LZ is where the Blackhawks and the Chinooks are going to pick us up. And then we're going to drop into the FTX. I'm hoping to be in the chinooks because we did do the blackhawks last year for cft and the chinooks are just way cooler to me and more fun i like how it's the whole platoon in there and we're all looking at each other it's like a dinner table <laughs> <laughs> it's a family style helicopter <laughs> When we got down to the rest of the company, we were doing PCC and PCI checks, and I went to the Water Buffalo to fill up my canteens. When I got back to the company, our task force NCO was teaching us how to do some things. Okay, we're shooting, we're shooting, we're shooting. Hey, gun one, go on tripod. Right, lift up. Get this thing out of the way. You're just gonna hook it under like this. Yeah, why are you saying that Okay, now you're on tripod. Each platoon gets a task force NCO assigned to them because they know what they're doing and we don't. We're here to train and to learn and the task force this year came from 10th Mountain. Now elevate. Put some bipods. Now put it on the TNA. Boom. Now you're on tripod. I'm trying to pay close attention to the assistant gunner position because I know that's the position I'm going to have to perform tonight. Throw it. <laughs> Use the weight, like once you start that roll, be quick.
Get the fire! Get the fire! Get the fire! Once your fire has actually been shifted, then what do you say? This is where I'm about to be pulling security right now between these two trees. This is the ORP. Uh, Ellie's playing RTO right now. The hardest part for me always about pulling security is just not knowing what's going on. Like if I could be the RTO and have a walkie talkie and hear what everybody's doing, I would be good. I would be straight, but it just kind of gets boring staring out into nothingness and i'm rto now i was hoping to get to try this position because you get to hear everything that's going on take a listen tonight i'm gonna have to be a squad leader for a mission it's not really a mission it's more just getting into a patrol base i'm kind of nervous because it's gonna be at night nothing today is graded but in a few days during the 10-day ftx we will be getting graded on our positions for leadership so you'll get graded on being a platoon leader or a psg or a squad leader i'm not gonna be able to take y'all with me on the night mission tonight because we can't use our flashlight we can only use red light so y'all won't be able to see anything but i'll tell you about it after i finish Y'all, this night has taken a turn for the worse. The patrol basing was fine, but apparently that was never where we were supposed to spend the night, so we had to move all the way here. My foot is killing me. It's so late at night, and we're trying to build these switches. I was going to try to build mine between these two trees right here, but I'm not going to have enough time. I'm just going to help the girls build a group tent, and we're all going to stay together. And you'll be second, and I'll be third, and then Jasmine. It's the next morning. It's 5.20 a.m. Last night was awful. It rained. Building a huge at night is so hard because you can't see very well. And the rain definitely got us. I'm so soggy. My feet are cold and wet. I'm pretty sure I sync cycles with one of the girls because I woke up and my stomach is cramping bad. I'm eating breakfast right now. I'm sorry for the poor camera work. I don't even remember taking this footage, to be honest with y'all. When we wake up, a third of us eat breakfast, a third of us pull security, and then the other third of us wash up. I'm now on security with these guys. The two of them are in my squad. And now it's my time to go to the bathroom and wash up and use my feminine hygiene products. This is my bathroom for the morning. 
Now it's time to move out of the patrol base. Watching my platoon take turns carrying my ruck really makes me feel like a burden and a loser. Like, I wish I could carry something more than my assault pack. Everyone's being so nice about it, but I just feel worthless right now. I'm in a Humvee now, about to go to my doctor's appointment. Someone gave me their Twizzlers out there in my re, which was so sweet, and it's made me feel a lot better. Everyone's about to ruck back to the base except me, and it just sucks because I'm worried if everyone's resenting me and hating me. And also, there are peer reviews at the end of this training, so I'm feeling like it's going to reflect negatively in my PDRs. Um, yesterday evening for our night mission, it wasn't really a mission, it was just setting up a patrol base. Once I got back to the base, I was told to change into PTs, and then I was put in another vehicle, and they transported me to Keller, which is the hospital on West Point. On my way to Keller, I noticed I had gotten a notification a few days ago saying I had been dropped from CLDT. I replied to the POC and asked him, Sir, may I ask why CLDT has been dropped from my schedule? Very respectfully, Cadet Jasmine Haynes. At the hospital, the doctor told me I still have sinus tarsi syndrome in my right foot. He gave me a cortisone shot, which is a steroid injection to help reduce the swelling and help ease the pain in my ankle. He's given me injections before in the past, and they've helped temporarily. I'm just hoping it'll help take me through all 10 days of this FTX coming up. I didn't have time to change into OCPs before my last formation, so I just went in my PTs. Find gunners. <laughs> After that, I went to the base to lay down and I received a reply to my email. Cadet Haynes, I was told you were on medical profile and was not going out to CLDT. I added you back after the RXO told me you were actually at the training. You should see it back now on your schedule. What? Y'all, I was never supposed to come to CLDT. I wish I could get across to you in non-West Point terms all of the implications of this email. Basically, I've been done dirty. I all but begged my tech officer to let me do an AID instead of CLDT and she denied it to me knowing I was having post-surgical complications. CLDT was on my summer schedule so I reported to CLDT. But I'm guessing medical had me dropped and I just didn't get the notification until a few days ago. I really don't know what's going on. I just know that I have three summer training graduation requirements that I haven't done because of COVID. And because I was put in CLDT, it's way too late for me to get on an AID, which is the second graduation requirement I haven't done. The third requirement, my leadership position, I did do, but because it was a special COVID only detail, they had to put a waiver in the system for me. I'm just scared to drop CLDT because I'm nervous if the academic board sees I would need three waivers to graduate, they'll turn me back. And I cannot afford a turn back. I have to get out of this place on time. We have a visitor. Cammy came to visit me, <laughs> and I am just in a very bad state of affairs. I showed her my room, <laughs> I showed her the tarp and the trash bag, and just told her about my situation. And it was nice talking to her about the situation because we're in the same academic year company, so she just gets it. It's time to eat dinner, but I'm really not hungry. My TAC officer came up to me earlier today and she said that the BTO is saying that everyone with at your own pace profiles need to just drop CLDT and that the drops will not graduate on time. And they're saying they won't bring my stuff up to the sticks, so I'd have to carry it on my own or make my platoon carry it. My platoon is really nice and they're saying they're going to carry it, but I honestly would rather drop and be turned back than have them carry my stuff again. So the two girls in my squad thought it would be a good idea for the three of us to go on a ruck to the LZ just to see how it feels carrying my ruck after I've had my steroid injection. It hurt pretty bad on the little mini ruck we did, but I'm not telling those girls that. Now that I know for sure, I'll be turned back if I get med dropped. I'm feeling like I have to tough it out and go on this FTX. It's the next morning. My TAC officer said all the cadets on profile have to decide whether they're going to drop CLDT or not by this afternoon. I still haven't made my decision yet. An academic year company mate of mine invited me to go fishing with him, so I'm going to go do that right now. Yeah. 
He's gonna die. He's gonna die. He actually caught a fish. Fish are so creative. He literally made this fishing pole. I don't know what materials he used, but he's using the bread out of his MREs as bait. Taking a video. I got it, I got it. Hold it up. I caught one fish and he caught like five fish. It was actually really fun. Fishing earlier really helped me clear my mind. I'm loading my mags right now because I've decided not to drop CLDT and go on the FTX tonight. There are a lot of cadets still out here with injuries even worse than mine. I'm just going to tough it out and do my best. And if things don't work out, at least I can say I did everything I could. All the companies right now are prepping for the FTX. I finished packing my stuff and I'm about to go to BART, me and my squad. We're going to go over some last minute things before the FTX. So we would complete the, like we would be going through this. And they said we can't bring our phones on this FTX. So unfortunately, y'all can't come with me. I texted my family and friends goodbye. I'll talk to you guys in 10 days when I get back. I'm on my way to the CP right now to turn in my SI and my M4. It's so quiet out here. I cannot believe I look like this. Like, who knew? I could look like this. We're just gonna cut the cake. I remember looking bad for CFT, but look at me. <sighs> no. Okay, so Captain Benel uh, needs to have a counselor with you at 9 30 in the White House. Okay. Do you know where the office is? I'm on my way to the White House right now to get counseled by my CLDT TAC officer. I'm just now leaving my counseling. This is the counseling form she gave me. The words are really small, so I'll read the counseling for you. It says, Cadet Haynes, you are being counseled so you clearly understand the ramifications of receiving a non-complete for CLDT. You have been identified as a potential non-complete for the following reasons. Medical profile. As a result of dropping CLDT, you will become a high-risk cadet for graduation. This drop can result in a delayed graduation date and is subject to the decision of the academic board. It is the recommendation of the TAC team that you take this extremely serious and understand all of the ramifications that are outlined in this counseling. If a cadet does not meet graduation requirements for the military pillar outlined in the Green Book, they may submit a waiver to graduate on time with their class. The academic board will make a decision on whether or not the cadet can graduate on time. 
on the occurrence that the waiver is denied or the cadet has reason to believe the academic board failed to consider relevant information in reaching a decision concerning the disposition of their deficiency, they may petition the dean of the academic board for a reconsideration. Such petitions must be submitted in a timely manner, normally prior to the implementation of the board's decision, but in all cases within five duty days following the board's decision. Petitions for reconsideration must establish clearly the facts that the cadet believes were unavailable to the board during its original deliberations. Board procedures have evolved over time to ensure that all such information is routinely available. It is rare that a significant issue is known only to the cadet. The board assumes that all cadets tried hard and really want to remain at the academy, so statements that re-emphasize these facts are unnecessary. The dean will evaluate the merits of the petition and may reject the appeal if he determines no new substantial information is presented. He may also bring the case back to the full academic board if he determines that the case deserves reconsideration. I was not prepared for that. I feel like I was already at the academic board. She asked me what my plan of action was. And I told her, ma'am, I'm going to try to find the AID. I'm going to try my hardest to get on an AID. And she told me, you know, it's the end of the summer. It's too late. I called my academic year tech. She said the same thing to me. I'm really stressed out, but I'm not about to give up. Not just yet. I'm back at the base packing up my bags to go back to West Point. At the end of the counseling with my tag, I asked her if there's anything else I need to do to out process CLDT and she told me nope, I'm good to go. Just go back to the base, pack up my stuff, and await transportation back to West Point. I finished packing up my stuff and received a call from the regimental CLDT cadre. They told me they were on their way to pick me up to transport me back to West Point. I carried my stuff out there to the vehicle and they transported me and another cadet who had ulcers in his eye. He was all but blind. Line. They took us back to West Point and yeah, we are officially med drops from CLDT. I'm back at West Point. I never thought I'd be so happy to see Garrison. After I checked into transient, I picked up my friend and we drove up to my dad's house. He's a professor at West Point and lives on base. We played with the dogs for a little bit and then my little sister and friend helped me take out my braids. I can't wait to take an everything shower. We had dinner, which was chicken and rice, and then we watched Twilight the rest of the night. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> he's literally going to be, he's not even going to be like, he's literally not going to be like, he's going to be so annoying. So am I Hello, sir. I know this will negatively affect my MD grade. I would like to. We drove back down the transient barracks just in time for taps. It's the next day. I'm back up at my dad's house. Today, my focus is finding an IAD. At West Point, you have to do an IAD, MIAD, or PIAD. An IAD is basically an internship. And we gotta try to find one to get on because even though they're saying all med drops from CLDT will be turned back, if that was a bluff to call our bluff as med drops, then I still have a chance to graduate. I just need to find an AID so when the academic board sees my profile, I'll be in the group that they only have to give one waiver to. I might be overthinking all of this but you just never know and I want to give myself the best chance at graduating Time to get some hard work in, huh? <laughs> We did it guys, we got on an AID. I'm so happy to be on it and be making a new friend. We're learning about all the construction happening at West Point and we went back to Buckner and visited my old new cadet base, which was so cool to see them renovating. I'm so happy for the new cadets and all future cadets to have AC and clean barracks. I'm just so happy to see this. Like, I'm not a The Core Has type of girl. I want all the cadets who come after me to have everything I didn't have, especially when it comes to quality of life. Uh, 
We also got to visit the new cyber and engineering academic building they're making. West Point is actually so beautiful. Like This building is going to overlook the Hudson. I miss being able to see the beauty of this place. It's just easy to allow it to get overshadowed by all the silliness. A few days into my IAD, I got a negative COR from my CLDT TAC officer. A negative COR is a negative cadet observation report. She said I failed to follow directions. She's saying in this negative COR that I left CLDT without letting her know or my company know. I really don't know what to make of this, y'all, because my company leadership were the ones who told me I had to leave CLDT. They were the ones who coordinated my transportation from Camp Buckner to West Point. That's not something I can do on my own as a trainee. I really don't know how to respond to this. My CLDT TAC has already put this in the system, so it automatically notifies my academic year TAC team. <sighs> this is just not a good start to my senior year. I'm very mentally exhausted and just don't know if I have it in me to fight this one. But if I don't, I know this is probably something... I would have to walk for. I'll probably get hours for something like this. I think I'm just going to email my CLDT tag and just ask her to take this out the system or ask her to reword it because it just makes it seem like to my academic year tag team that I just up and left CLDT and that's just not it's not possible. It just it just it just reads really bad and it's simply not true. But if I tell my CLDT tag that that's just not true, it becomes more of a confrontation. And if I tell my academic year tag that my CLDT tag is lying, it becomes a he say she say and and I feel like they will believe my CLDT tech. I feel like my best COA, my best course of action will be to email my CLDT tech officer, the one who wrote the NCOR on me, and just tell her there must have been a misunderstanding or miscommunication on my end and just ask if she can take the COR out the system or maybe just reword it. The rest of my IAD went very well. My birthday came. I thought I was gonna have to spend my birthday in the field for the fourth year in a row, but I was able to celebrate it a little bit. I went to breakfast. I went to the city to this rooftop lounge and then I came back and had hibachi with some family. Last few days of my IAD, the CLDT FTX was over, and so I brought my friends some food and congratulated them. Now that my IAD is complete, it's time for my mandatory leave. Leave a comment down below on where you think I'm headed. Here is a clue. All our luggage is here. The beautiful balcony, but we'll get there. Hey, you got chairs too. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hi. <clears throat> Look how cute. Cuidado. 
The floor is wet. <laughs> what a beautiful bathroom. <laughs> Some linen. All right, ma'am. If you want to convince me to go to West Point, you did it. <laughs> we'll still get back to there. That's that'll be the finale. The balcony. We come over here. I'm a seahorse. Cute, cute. Not a sea star. She has two little in a bathroom. Oh wait, you have your own bathroom in here too. Exactly. Which one is yours? This, this one. one. <laughs> Jasmine, we need to sleep in the same bed. Yeah, I pulled up my blind. Oh wow. Yeah,
that's it guys the summer has officially come to an end it's officially the end of final jam <laughs> i'm on my way to the airport and i'm going back to west point for my final year my senior year i'm vlogging the whole thing i really want y'all to be right there with me through the highs and the lows so make sure you subscribe like the video turn the notifications on and i'll see you in the next vlog